this video is gonna be a little bit of a how to remove a T5 from a Fox body. A million videos out there about that as well, but I'm gonna do it for mine. Um, ever since race week, the front of the trans has been leaking. I've got little snail tracks everywhere. And before Fun Ford, I'm gonna pull the trans out and look at the bearing retainer because I think that's where it's coming from, uh, just to verify. It's got the G-Force case and all that, so I don't think the case is broke. But nonetheless, uh, their fluid is not cheap. And this ain't a fucking Chevy, so I don't need a bunch of oil all over the place. Uh, should have done it a long time ago, but you know, things happen and we had the Maverick project, so it is Tuesday at like four in the afternoon. I'm gonna get the car up on the lift and uh, hopefully pull it out, fix the trans seal, and then put it back in tomorrow on Wednesday. That leaves me with Thursday, Friday, Saturday to polish this turd up so that it's somewhat presentable at Fabulous Sports Forever. Well, it's the next day. I didn't get the trans out yesterday like I wanted to. Too much shit going on. And uh, so we're gonna try to pump through it and get it, get it going. But it is my first day off of work and it is four in the afternoon. So the only way to really get this started is with a cold beer. In the Midwest, they drink Bush Latte. Out here, Beck his drink Coors Latte.
Ray now is rich and has V Bang clamps, but I ran these aluminum header gaskets on race week and didn't have one problem with them. But I was, you know, you can tell they've scraped the ground, so I probably need to, might be able to reuse these. I don't know, we'll see. All right, so now that the X pipe is out, my car's got a safety loop, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the this bracket off, and I'll pull the drive shaft out, and then I'll put a yoke up in the transmission to keep it from leaking any more fluid, and I'll also drain the fluid uh, out of this deal as well. take these bolts off here and then I'll I'll take this one out and I'm just gonna loosen the other one and I'll let the cross member just come down out of the way
All right, now we're gonna remove the Speedo cable, the plug for the speed sensor, the pigtail for the reverse lights, and the neutral safety switch. I think, I believe this is the neutral right, safety. Like That's the reverse at top. And this deal here, just pull this out. All right, I'm going to uh, just kind of mark this and then back this off so that I can, I've got room to mess with that when I pull the trans out. And then we'll probably lower the car and pull the shifter handle off. Right inside the car, shifter knob's gonna come off, this bezel's gonna come off, and then we're gonna take the two screws out of the shifter handle. I just hope it's not that because the whole trans has to come apart and uh, I might have to doctor something up if it's that just so I can get to fun forward and figure out the rest later.
I had to pull this deal apart. I had to pull this deal apart because I bought this transmission used and it was so, this, this thing moved so much. And push shaft, dude. It was scary, so I pulled this deal apart and shimmed this to tighten that up, which that's not going to affect anything. You know, the, the the deal should have still sealed, so I think I'm just going to clean this up. Clean this up real good. Clean this up real good, and uh, I'll re anaerobic seal it. Um, I might have to chase these threads, too. Uh, when you put these things together with RTV, RTV gets in here and screws up the threads. So this thing was, whoever built this, built it with RTV, which is the way you're not supposed to do it. It's supposed to have anaerobic sealant. That's the way that Tremec uh, assembled these things. That way it doesn't screw up the, the holes, but um, you know, it's a used deal, so it is what it is. But I'm just gonna clean this thing up. And I believe that's, you know, it was leaking from here all the blue. Uh, I'm hoping it's not from here. Although, as it's sitting here, you can see there's fluid dripping out here. So, I'll hit that with some carburetor cleaner and I may have to, just to make it to fabulous Fords, I may have to put some silicone or something there because I don't particularly feel like pulling this whole thing apart right now. I got too much other shit to do. I do have another T5 on the shelf I could put in it, but I would have to pull the bell housing and change the change the clutch disc because this is 26 blind and the other deal is 10 blind. So let's clean this deal up and try to get it sealed back up and go from there. ultra gray just around this deal here as you can see I got it all cleaned up chased all the threads uh, no I didn't use some abrasive BS I used this plastic deal um, I just to me it looks like it was leaking through here so we'll we'll seal it and try it again um, and then for, for this area this is the stuff from Dynatex anaerobic gasket maker the stuff that Jeremy used, so let's give it another whirl and see what happens. And if this bitch leaks again, then I'll just pull the whole transmission apart. And if it's that, it's that, you know. But we'll do it again, see what happens. Up and 
do some other shit that I want to do to it before that was forward.
plays good. I may pull the shifter off and pour all the fluid back in it so I ain't trying to pump it. And uh, I'll probably wait to do that till tomorrow though. All right, next day, let the trans sit overnight. Didn't do anything last night. Just kind of cleaned up underneath the car and then went inside. So let's take a look at the trans. I'll let it seal up. Yeah, it's gonna be ghetto, but I'm pretty sure the uh, cluster retainer right there for the cluster gear is what's leaking. And uh, I'm not taking this bitch apart before fun forward. So it is what it is. All right, another way to, I mean, you can fill the trans and pump it in like that, but I'm just gonna pull the shifter off real quick. Fill the bitch back up with, with the oil, put the shifter back on, and then when I get it back in the car, we'll check the level, and if it needs a little bit more, then I'll squirt a little bit more, but that's better than putting a couple quarts in there and wasting a bunch of time.
got everything under here buttoned up. The exhaust is back in. These are all tight. Trans is tight. One thing I need to do under here is uh, tighten up the clutch. But all the wires are plugged in and everything else is tight. This muffler is always the closest shit right here. I hate it. Wish I could uh, do something about that, but whatever. It's just a master kit. You can see the difference. Anyhow, uh, obviously this is in all the way in depth of how to remove a T5. I've got a different bell housing than a regular T5, but if you were to pull the trans out like I had it out, next thing you would do is pull the one, two, what, five or six bolts out of the bell housing, make sure the battery is unplugged. You'd pull the starter out of the bell housing, and then the bell housing would come off, and then you would take the bolts out of the uh, pressure plate, and then the bolts out of the flywheel, and you'd have everything off of the back of the engine. So it's not a complete in-depth T5 removal, but you've got the basics, and LMR's got all kinds of videos you can watch about Fox body stuff, but just wanted to throw something out there. So yeah, now I'll I marked where we were before, and now I'm just gonna run this in, tighten it up so that that doesn't back off when we're going, and everything underneath here is ready to go. So if you want to help my homie out, he's paying me right now like 100 bucks an hour. Um, it'll help me out too. Hit that subscribe button, like, and comment, and share.